and good morning. Welcome back to SP Basic. Well, the renaming ceremony went late into the evening last night. I think everybody had a good time, but it's time to get busy. We are on the dock and only plan to be here about a week. We have a lot of things to do. Number one on the list is ground tackle. We have to put in our new Rockna 25, uh, Lumar V1 windlass, 150 feet of high strength chain, 5 16 and everything associated with it to make it run smooth. And so I feel comfortable at anchor. We will be putting in a bridle system and all this is going to go down in the next day or two. Then on to the next item. But for now, let's start with that ground tackle. It's a big project and it'll give me peace of mind knowing that that's done. So let's get busy. Ever since we got back into the water, we've been like really busy. We did the renaming ceremony and we're working on some more projects. My mom's making Vietnamese pork chops, which are some of my favorites. My dad got some parts for the windlass right here. Hi, Compass! Hi. You want to see what I'm up to? Come down here and check it out. So I'm drilling a couple of these holes. This is our deck. I just cut this out and I have one more to cut out here, two three inch holes for our windlass. I need to get all this core filled with thickened epoxy tonight so we can install the windlass tomorrow. <laughs> I'm knee deep into installing this windlass now. I've got all my bits and pieces. I think I'm in a good position to get this thing installed now. Let me get you up to speed out here what I'm up to. I've drilled my holes. I've got all my backer plates. I need backer plates on this because I'm drilling through Nidacore, mounting this to Nidacore. And Nidacore doesn't do real well with compression, so every time I have to put something that carries a load, I'll do a nice backer plate on either side. I drilled the holes and filled the core with thickened epoxy. I've also been working down in the chain locker here. Let's go down here and take a look at what I'm doing. Okay. There was a little bit of damage and bubbling in the veneer here. So I've filled, dug it all out, filled it, and now I'm gonna lay extra glass cloth on this wall. This is where the chain will be dropping, so I wanna make sure it's all beefed up. I'll be doing that today and mounting the windlass. I also went around, anywhere there was little holes, I filled them. I don't want any moisture or water that's gonna be coming down this chain locker uh, to enter into any of the structure, so. This is getting watertight now with three drains. So I think we're in good position. I'll get the windlass going and get this glass going today. A lot to do, but this is fun. Pull the lead real slow. Okay, it's not working. Oh, there it goes. Perfect. Okay, that looks good. 
All right. Okay. You got started? Uh, yep. I'm just trying to... Okay, I'm pushing down on the wet list to... It's a little tight. Well, just wiggle it back and forth a bit. Okay. Is it going to go? It should go right on. No, no, on. no. It's, it is. It is now. Okay. Okay. Here's all your nuts and washers. Don't drop. Because there's this, there's the drain right below you, so make sure they don't go down the drain. Okay. And then here's your socket. I just don't know. Try to get one on. It's because of the butyl tape. We have to compress the butyl. Uh-huh. I'll, I'm standing on this to put pressure on it. Once the butyl starts compressing, you'll have more and more bite on there. So try to get one or two started. Okay. I'm going to stand right on it, okay? Okay. Is it going to work? Yeah. They're long enough. They should be right there. Yeah, they actually are going to work. Okay, good. Okay, ready? I don't think he'll trust my strength. Hey, I can see that you're already squeezing it all out up here, so you're doing good. Just keep going. Okay, hand me the motor. Jesus, it's heavy. I know, it's a beefy one here. I don't want to drop it on your head. Okay. Grease the shaft. Oh, there it goes. Oh. It's like my job never ends. Thank you. Kind of a big pour for such a small little space. It's not small. Okay. This this sheet is four and a half feet by four feet. I'm just packed in this corner. It's like your little pretzel over there. I'm putting on the mantis swivel. Looks pretty straightforward. Pretty beefy. They say it's the strongest link in your chain. It looks pretty strong. We'll see how it goes. Okay, feeling good about the mechanical ends of our ground tackle. Our Rockna 25 seats perfect into the bow roller. Look at this. Does not wiggle one bit. I'm liking that put in our mantis swivel followed the directions and I feel real good about this it is one beefy swivel put a chain stopper in and everything just lines up the way it's supposed to feeling good about it next thing is look at this hooking up the the bridle system these are 5 8 eye nuts that are going right through this main beam here they're gonna be nearly 20 feet apart I drilled the first hole here and the other one will be way over there. Get those in with Loctite and lock nuts. I feel pretty safe. Here's our bridle. So let's get this in. Okay, we finished up all the mechanical aspects of the anchoring system. Had to modify the bow roller, got the windlass installed, all the backer plates are in. Everything feels real strong. I'm real happy with it. Now I'm starting the electrical end. I'm going to run up to Admiral 
real quick and borrow their lug crimp. I've got five different uh, cables to put lugs on and they've got a better crimper than I do. So we'll do that first. So while Teal is back in the chain locker, he's going to have me heat shrink all these cables, I guess. Kind of like it. Kind of cool. Let's take a look at how all this wiring turned out. My battery compartment is right here under the nav station. And what I ended up doing is running straight off the bus bar to its own uh, 90 amp breaker. The 90 amp breaker goes straight to the unit itself. It's only about seven feet. So I was able to calculate it out, 12 volts, 90 amps, seven feet with my Blue Seas app, and it suggests six gauge wire. I used four. I upped it one size, because there is a great load on that, and it's better to go over a little bit than under. I ran the wire straight to the contactor, which I actually mounted on the back side of this bulkhead. It's a nice dry location, and from there, straight to the windlass. There was quite a bit of other wiring coming off the windlass. There was uh, a reed switch that comes off the motor itself for a chain counter, which is optional. I didn't install that. There was also a, let me double check, a thermal cutout that comes off the windless motor as well. Optional. I did not install that. But everything else I used, I did put a remote accessed unit on there so we could have a remote out on deck to operate the windless. And everything wired up actually pretty smoothly. One thing I did add was this roller system here. As the chain came through the deck, and see how close it comes to the motor here? With the curvature of the hull, look at this. I didn't want the chain to rake across this motor at all. So I ended up putting this roller system in to divert it around and keeps it nice and clear. Now that we have finished our installation of our anchoring system, we decided it was time to head out of the marina to test out our new ground tackle. Even though we know it'll work flawlessly, we still wanted to test it out before leaving this area. It was definitely time to leave the dock and be on the hook. We could still work on projects while we're at anchor and at the same time cut down on our marina costs. Being in the marina and on the hard was a must, but we didn't anticipate the length of our stay. By getting off the dock, it was a huge morale boost for the entire crew because this is what we've been working towards this entire time, and it feels really good. Besides, the view's not too bad either. So this is it. This is our first day at anchor in a very long time and I gotta say it feels so nice. I thought that I would forget everything that we did before but it kind of just it's like riding a bicycle. It just kind of comes back to you. We're rocking around and just kind of taking in the sights. Emma's really enjoying it already. The movement is so different than on the dock and I'm kind of digging it. It's so calm right now. Even though we have, we're just anchored out right now, a little premature, but it's just nice to get off the dock. One, because it's costly. It costs us a lot to be on the dock and we could do projects anywhere at this point. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. <laughs> Tearing, tearing into the solar because we're not going to last too much without uh, power. 
we have probably three days worth of batteries, but we'll get the solar in today and tomorrow. It's kind of exciting, right? It is. I'm excited for this. We have way more solar now than we ever had before, and we're only going to double up I know, within and, the year. And this is fun work. This is, this is fun. Is it, though? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> You're going to start monitoring everything that I use, aren't you? No, we should have enough solar to handle it. We'll see, though. If we need more solar, we'll get more solar. That's the beauty of solar. It's he is so hard on me about how much power I use. But the good news is this time around, everything, for the most part, is LED. So yeah, I'm not going to consume as much. I mean, I'm still going to use, but... We're more efficient now. We're much more efficient now. So kudos for technology. Well, this solar project's actually kind of fun to do. Uh, started it last night, started wiring in the panels themselves. Those will run into the crawl space over here, and I'll be mounting my Victron uh, 50 amp controller, MPP to controller. I'll put a switch on there so I could turn the panels off. I'll be mounting a smart dongle so I could read on my phone and tie it all into the battery bank. We should have this whole system up and running today. And that's a good thing because right now we're just sitting at anchor. The sun's out. It'd be nice to take advantage of all this free energy. We are on the hook less than 24 hours and Teal tears apart the boat again can't even describe what my stateroom looks like. This looks really familiar. But your view's better. <laughs> <laughs> right? Is it? It is. When I know I have to put this broom back to, to rights again. I'll have it done in one hour. And we will have solar. Maybe an hour and a half. We'll see how things go. So Teal and Emma are on their way back from getting propane. And I don't remember you guys remember a few months back um, when he tried to prank me in the shower and I swore I'd get him back. Well, it's time. Payback is a uh, you know what. Let's see if he falls for it. Nobody gets me and doesn't get payback. Someone was really upset that you guys forgot him. <laughs> How is the propane run? It's good. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna go check on him. I think he has probably another hour or so, but let's just make sure that he's occupied and we can do this. Teal? to recruit Emma because she has to learn. Start them while they're young. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to take the dinghy and move it to the other side of the boat and then when we go for our dinghy run, it's gonna be good. So let's do this.
binoculars. The dinghy's gone. Get out here. What? The dinghy's what? gone. The dinghy's gone. Are you serious? Oh, it's Are gone. you serious? No. What do we do? Yeah, funny. <laughs> funny. Put it away. Hey, deal. 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 <laughs> Scared the crap out of me. Jerk. <laughs> Don't mess with me. I told you I'd get you back. Right, bye, Bella. Now let's take a look at how the wiring ended up with the solar array and all the components it takes to uh, make this run efficiently. As soon as I uh, show you this, Lynn is determined to get our stateroom back in order. So the sooner the better. I'll get in there and show it to you guys. Okay, let's take a look at this, how it turned out. Here is one independent lead coming in from each solar panel. This is 12 gauge duplex wire coming into this fuse block. Each individual panel is fused with an eight and a half amp fuse. From there, I've got the hot lead coming in through an on off switch. This way I could turn off and on the solar array to keep me from back charging while I'm working on anything else on the boat. So I have that option to turn it off. From there, I go in through my MPPT uh, 50 amp control unit. The control unit has its own 50 amp breaker right here. I also have uh, the Victron Energy smart dongle. This throws out a Bluetooth signal so I can read it on my phone. Look at we're at 312 in the afternoon right now. I'm putting out let's load this in again. It's late in the afternoon and I'm putting out 20 amps of power right now off the 500 watts of solar. Way more than we use. From there, it goes down to the battery bank. Seems to be working just by design and couldn't be happier with it. We're making more power than we're using at this point. I guess I can let the girls know that they get it start running more lights and accessories. They'll enjoy that. Okay, so this is a much better test for our ground tackle. We're blowing 25 to 30 right now. Starting to get a little white streaks in the water. We're in uh, about 25 feet of water. We have 120 feet of chain out right now and we're holding true. I feel real good about this. But this is what we need to build our confidence in our ground tackle. And so far, I'm liking it. Lifestyle. If you liked it, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like. Also leave a comment. We read every single one of them. And a huge thanks to everyone that has purchased something from our merch store. It really helps us out and we would love to see pictures of you guys in our gear. Plus, they look good. They look yeah. pretty good. <laughs> Anyways, we have a lot of projects still coming your way. We've got more electronics, sales and rigging. That's huge. We've got a lot to button up before we head out of here, so we're gonna be real busy. Anyways guys, please come back next week to see one of our action-packed videos. <laughs> see you then. Bye. Bye.